These striking images from the Democratic Republic of the Congo immediately have you asking, what is going on here? Why is everything pink? Is this real? Well, these photos were taken on a film called Kodak Aerochrome, and it was developed in 1942 in conjunction with the U.S. military, and it has a layer of infrared emulsion that reacts to plants and foliage, and it turns them these bright shades of pink or red, and it was used to help the military find camouflaged targets. This set of photos was taken between 2010 and 2012 by Irish photographer Richard Moss. And one of the questions that it brings up for me is, is this actually documentary photography? So these are taken in a documentary style of the Civil War that was happening at the time. But traditionally, documentary images report on the scene as it looked, as it actually was. Now, yes, you can argue black and white is not actually as it was, but black and white is omitting information. This is changing the fundamental way that the scene looked. It did not look this way. If you were to see any of these images without the context of what film was used, it would cause a lot of confusion. But seeing these as a series with the whole context of how they were created, does it actually help to bring more attention to what was happening here? I'm not sure that it actually does. In every article, in every conversation that I've seen about these photos, the primary subject that is discussed is the photographer and the film. It's not what is actually happening in these photos. I don't come away from these images with any deeper knowledge or sense of the place and the people there. I just know a lot about the photographer now. Being a white photographer in an African country, I think that there should be some more awareness about the people being photographed and the focus should be on them and not on the photographer himself. And when I read this quote from Moss, it really confirmed for me some of these suspicions that I had. He talks a lot about himself and his journey and his experience and what it was like there for him and not so much about what the experience was for the subjects there. So yes, these did start a conversation, but is it the right conversation considering the subject matter? What do you think?